It's an exciting day today, people, because we're going to talk about camp meals, specifically the ones that come in a bag. Now, we all wish we could be the camp chef that could make this like in a cast iron, but the reality is that most people are not the greatest camp chefs, I'm sorry to tell you. So when you have to eat out of a bag, you hope it's going to be pretty good. So I chose some meals from some of the more popular camping meal companies. Now, I tried to pick a bunch of different types of meals. Usually campers use these meals when they're trying to camp light. But what I wanted to know is how good would these be if you were at a festival or just leisurely camping? I even threw in some of Patagonia's wild sockeye salmon. Just to give you a little bit of that high-end meals ready to eat game out there. Now that my meals are chosen, I'm gonna need some help judging. I chose two very eager individuals to help me as you can see. You can just feel the excitement, can't you? First, my friend Coral, always trying to see the bright side. Like if this is the flavor that I even got at a restaurant, like a normal restaurant, I'd be like, okay. Then there's Brad. Distinct palate and very real. Yeah. I don't know. There's not much I don't there. remember the last time I've eaten anything this bad. Then I showed the judges what we're going to eat and the scorecard we use to judge every meal. I went with five basic categories. Look, taste, feel, smell, and the food overall. I went with a not-so-classic 1 through 6 rating system and an extra high mark for the best food out there. I also told the judges that each meal coming out would be a mystery and they would have to guess what it is. So all these meals need is different measurements of hot water to actually cook. First, you tear off the top, open it up and add some water. Stir it and then seal it. I know that was really complicated. I hope you could have followed that. One thing you want to make sure of is the top is actually sealed so it properly cooks and doesn't leak out. Now it's just a waiting game until we eat these delicious meals. Mmm. And after I made fun of this entire process, I went and left the oxygen absorber in the bag while it was cooking. Awesome. Okay, first meal, classic spaghetti with meatballs. Here we go. It looks like kind of noodles, but they're like 10% of the length of a noodle. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. My, I mean, my expectations were like below zero. <laughs> If I were camping, I'd be into it. Maybe I'm just really hungry, but it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> we actually all love this one, which is pretty awesome. So then I asked them what they thought it was. Well, it's a tough one, but I'm gonna go with spaghetti. <laughs> now we have risotto with chicken. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, don't say that before I had a bite. Definitely less exciting. Than it the smells last okay. One. It looks like vomit, to be honest. But it's not very good. It's significantly worse than the last one. Yeah. I don't know. There's not much. I don't remember the last time I've eaten anything this bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. If I was really hungry, like I could eat it. Oh, I don't know. Mm mm. That was a really tough piece of chicken. The chicken tastes disgusting. Sadly, we didn't have a lot of good things to say about it, but they did guess it, so that's good, I guess. Let's just say Brad was least excited about this one. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> to be fair, it is definitely not the most appetizing looking thing. And even after you add water, it doesn't look much better. <laughs> well, you do drain the water out, and afterward, this is kind of what you get. I mean, looks okay, right? I, uh, I honestly don't even want to try this one. This looks really upsetting. The texture is so weird. It's weird. It's like a sponge. Yeah. But the flavor is kind of fine. Like, it's not bad. Bacon flavored mm -hmm. tofu. Never it smells before. pretty good, though. I'm still going for it. <laughs> I don't know if that reflects more on me, though. <laughs> Gotta thank Carl for being so positive, but it was pretty clear that we knew what it was, and it just no, wasn't our favorite. Never get that meal. And if you ever served me that meal in a situation that was not for this purpose, I would probably question our friendship. Now it's time for some pasta primavera with grilled chicken. I know this one wasn't a looker, but it actually was pretty good. Oh no! This is Roganoff? Yeah, I think so. Well, to be fair, they hadn't tried it yet, so let's see. I mean... I'm fine. I mean, I'm still eating it. It's not good, but like, it's okay. Like, the risotto was like, this is like... I don't know what beef stroganoff tastes like, to be honest with you. It's not, it's not one of my go-tos. Not like any like pizza, tacos, beef stroganoff. <laughs> Maybe you just don't go with meat in these things. Maybe just stay in the meat category. You know, it'll do. So it seems we're split on that one, and we couldn't tell what it was. Now it's time for the real beef stroganoff. And to be honest, these meals just don't impress visually, but sometimes they taste pretty damn good. Still chewing. 
Did you get a really bad piece? I'm still chewing. I have not had that experience yet. Have you had a piece of beef yet? Mm hmm. No, it wasn't. It was just. It was a little salty. This guy. This yeah, guy. Yeah, eat it. Take a bite. It's spongy. You just chew and chew. But honestly, overall, it's a little salty, but it's my second favorite. Yeah, it's my second favorite too. The beef is almost inedible. The noodles are pretty soft. There's almost like a salty metallic taste, but I don't hate it. <laughs> At least it's not as, as, um, as wet. I feel like that's been a bigger issue is how wet it is. Make I have a bite of the beef. We didn't make a. <laughs> yeah, there it is. You're right. Yeah. So okay, so the one that we thought was the beef stroganoff was the chicken primavera. That's concerning. I'm like begging for that spaghetti again. Spaghetti's a dream. I want to change all my rate spaghetti ratings. <laughs> Five, <laughs> six. Spaghetti meatballs still winning it. So, for Patagonia's spice of chili, you'll need to use a pot instead of the bag itself. I mean, if you hate dirtying dishes when you're camping, this may not be for you. As you can see, it looks like chili, smells like chili. And compared to the other dishes, it looked pretty normal. Pretty spicy. Well, it is part of the name. I had higher hopes for this. It, it's definitely the third best, I would say. Is that tomato? It's like hard. The tom I guess the water didn't soak into it, but like the tomato is a weird texture. I feel like chili's the one thing you couldn't get wrong. I, I guess that's not true. Chili's like a whole legit. Sorry to the chili fans out there. It's kind of spicy. It's a little bit liquidy. Mm. It's not bad. If, you, if chili's your thing and you're going camping, you know, how high can your expectations be, really? This meal felt actually pretty accurate to what a camp meal should taste like out of a bag. And for the finale, the salmon from Patagonia. The prep is a little different on this, too. It comes in a sealed pouch that you just put in some hot water, heat it up, and then eat it. To be honest, this meal is just like all the rest. Not the best visually, but could be very tasty. Interesting. Oh, it smells so bad already from here. Yeah, it's very fishy. Dude, I don't think I can eat it. <laughs> Brad's over it. It looks really like dry. Doesn't it smell like pee? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it smells like, like a bum's ass. I bet that would be a really smelly thing. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like that. It just, it just, <laughs> yep, yeah. It smells worse than it tastes. Uh, it definitely smells worse than it tastes. It's not that bad. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. If you just like don't breathe while you're eating it, it's fine. <laughs> for a protein base, for a camping, it's not terrible. I love salmon and it's kind of hard to eat this. It's not my favorite, but it's not horrible. I would have to agree, it didn't look great, but it did taste pretty good for salmon out of a bag. Overall, most of these tasted pretty good. You would obviously use these if weight and space was an issue, and you want to get the maximum protein and calories in one meal. But if you were car camping, glamping, or even go to a festival, would this be the best option for eating? Probably not, unless you're just lazy and don't want to carry pots and pans, which I totally understand when you're at a festival or an event and you don't want to cook. In the end, the one thing I learned is sometimes it tastes better than it looks. Thank you for making it this far. Please subscribe, comment, or like. Take care.